Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to create multiple GST registrations or GS10 or UINs in a single company. Moreover, you will learn how to record transactions and view GST reports for any of your GST registrations. In addition to that, you will learn how to set default GST registration for a specific voucher type. And you will get to know about the process of viewing and exporting GST returns for single and all GST registrations. This video also helps you understand the concepts of voucher numbering series and common voucher numbering for all GST registrations in voucher types. If your business has branches at different locations with separate GST registrations, then you can create multiple GST registrations in a single company in Tally Prime Release 3.0 and later releases. This helps you to maintain a single company data in which you can record transactions and view reports for all your GST registrations. First, let us see how to add multiple GST registrations to your company. Consider that your company is based out of Karnataka with a branch in Tamil Nadu. Press F11. Enable Goods and Service Tax, GST and press Enter. You can see the GST registration details entered on the screen. You can add the GST registration details of the other branch too. This allows you to record transactions of all the GST registrations in a single company. Set create another GST registration for the company to yes and accept the screen. A screen to enter the GST registration details of your other business or branch appears. Enter state and GS10 or UIN of your branch. Press enter and then accept the screen. A message prompts you to create voucher numbering series. If you are creating more than one GST registrations, then the message appears only after saving all the GST registrations. When you have multiple registration, it is necessary to create unique voucher numbering series for all the GST registrations as the department does not allow uploading of taxable transactions with same voucher numbers. So creating voucher numbering series to use in voucher creation for specific GST registrations ensures that the voucher numbers for all the GST registrations are different. Press Buy Tally Prime redirects you to Chart of Accounts. Select a voucher type for which you want to create voucher numbering series. For example, you want to create voucher numbering series for sales. Place the cursor on sales and press Alt plus S. The numbering series details screen appears. Enter series names and select the method of voucher numbering you follow in your business, say automatic. Select the desired numbering behavior on insertion slash deletion. If you want to set or alter additional number details, then you can do so. This helps you add prefix or suffix for the series if you follow the practice of having a prefix or suffix in the voucher number in your business. Moreover, you can specify a restart numbering date, starting number and periodicity if you follow the practice of restarting voucher numbering for each period. Press Escape to go back to the Numbering Series Details screen. Press Ctrl plus E to save. You can do this in the respective voucher type alteration screen too. Now, consider that you want to have a different series for different voucher types under Karnataka, then you can create series such as Karnataka Purchase for Purchase, Karnataka CN for Credit Note, and so on, as needed. Press Alt plus G Alter Master. Voucher Type Type or select the voucher type and press Enter. Press F12 and set Define Multiple Numbering Series for Vouchers to Yes. Now, in the Voucher Type Alteration screen, set Define Multiple Numbering Series for Vouchers to Yes. Create Series Enter the Details Press Ctrl plus A to save the series. Press Escape. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher type. 
Thereafter, when you enable Good and Service Tax (GST) to go to the GST Details screen, you can select the GST registration from the list displayed. In the GST Details screen, you get to configure all the common details related to GST and HSN or SSE code for all GST registrations. Now, let us see how to record a transaction for a specific GST registration. Press Alt plus G. Create Voucher. Press Ctrl plus I. Type or select GST Registration Details and press Enter. Under Series Name, select the series. Set voucher number as per your requirement, say system default. Select the party ledger. Enter dispatch details and party details or accept the pre-filled information. Henceforth, for the sales voucher type under this registration, this series will be used. Enter other details in the voucher and press Ctrl plus A to save. Let's create another voucher with a different GST registration. To change the registration, press F3. Press Ctrl plus I and open GST registration details to select the voucher numbering series for the GST registration. Thereafter, enter the details and press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, you may also want to set a default registration for a particular voucher type. Consider that you create a type of voucher for a specific registration on a regular basis. For instance, you create all journal vouchers under a specific GST registration. Open the voucher type. Select the default GST registration. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Open the voucher creation screen. Press F7 for journal. The default registration is the one that we just selected. Press F3 to change if needed. Now, let us see how to have a common voucher numbering for all GST registrations in certain voucher types. If you want to have a common voucher numbering for all GST registrations, then you can do so too. Open the voucher type. Enable Use Common Voucher Numbering for All GST Registrations. As you can see, if there are transactions, then you will not be able to disable this option. Press Y to accept and press Ctrl plus A to save. Henceforth, for vouchers created using the voucher type, you will not need to select the voucher numbering series. The voucher numbers will be allotted by default as per the method of voucher numbering. Now, let us see how GST reports work with respect to multiple GST registrations. You can view GST compliance reports such as GSTR1, GSTR3B, GSTR2A and Annual Computation Report for a specific registration. Open GSTR1. Press Alt plus G. Type or select GSTR1 and press Enter. The report opens immediately, just like any other non-GST reports in Tally Prime. And as you can see, it opens for all registrations. The report provides the consolidation of invoice and tax amounts of transactions across all the GST registrations in your company. To view the report for a specific GST registration, press F3. Select the GST registration and press Enter. The report opens only for the selected GST registration. Now, let's see how to export GST returns. Before uploading transactions on the GST portal, you need export them using Tally Prime. Press Alt plus E. Press F2. 
and enter the from and to dates to change period. If you want to export GSTR 3D, then press F5 if needed. By default, the export GSTR 1 screen appears for all registrations. To export returns of a specific GST registration, press F3. Select the GST registration and press Enter. Press X and then you can export GST return to a specific folder. As you can see, the facility to create multiple GST registrations enables you to have a single company for all registrations. And you can record transactions and view reports for a specific registration seamlessly. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.